guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2 Episode 3 of Season 2 with Fruits Basket. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Your mom? Yeah, plus he's summing up your shirt. Since I is in this episode, please tell me. Oh, how did I? Is he gonna be on this episode today? And there he goes. It'll be fine. To show me, my man. That's it. Give me hot today. You ain't show me when the last time you showed me hot was almost like the first damn episode, and just I just need to see him. It's been a while. The opening doesn't count.
I mean, it would be nice if Hansa Harry would also make an appearance today. I mean, seriously, just to make me happy. Because, like I said, I've seen that man since episode one of this season. But so just want to. Because I just want to see his sexy girls. Ready? This is gonna be fun! No, it's gonna be fun! Yes, with the greatest pride. I'm guessing so. No? That literally is something that Honey Senpai would say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah.
Mm, they'll find a way. Uh huh. That's exactly why you're here. <laughs> But I am. But Yuki, are you sure you really want to talk to them though? Slipper and just let your brother do it.
Mm-hmm. You're more than just a poem. Mm-hmm. And right now that's Toru until things that I can't talk about because big old spoilers. Sure, Aya. <laughs> of course. But at least he's telling you the truth, you know? Oh, man. Don't make me cry, oh my god.
tady. I'm so happy Yuki was able to see his brother again and them to finally, you know, like, talk it out because this is something that I have been wanting ever since I made an appearance in season one and I knew this conversation was going to come up but like, oh my god, I just, it makes me wonder now, like, with the flashback of his mom, are his parents going to make an appearance and is he finally going to be able to stand up? To his parents, because I really want to see that. I mean, it's Yuki, for Christ's sake. He's my favorite character in this show, besides, like, Rin and Momiji and Kisa and a whole bunch of others. But I just want to see Yuki. Yuki has stu stood up for himself so many times, but against his own family. His parents, for Christ's sake, I need that. Like, he needs that himself. He needs that so he can move on. I get the fact that Aya wants to be the big brother and step in because of the fact is yes Yuki's parents sold him out and I hate that about his family but still Yuki has to stand up on his own and do it on his own and that's what I want for him he's so fucking precious and I love him so fucking much like oh my god if I could he would be the one dude in this damn series besides Tora Hattori and freaking oh my god I'm freaking Hatsuharu, I would marry in a fucking heartbeat. How I marry all three men at the same time, and I wouldn't give a shit because they're so fucking hot. I mean, tell me, like, literally, is there any other hot guy in this damn series besides freaking those three and Kyo and literally anybody else? I don't think there is. <laughs> but oh my god, like, this was just a really good episode for their relationship. Toru, you looked adorable as always, like any outfit Toru wears. She's fucking cute, but like at that moment between her and Yuki, I can't because it's just so much. Like I wanna like I ship them so much, even though the ish of what happens in the manga that like I said I can't really talk about because of big old spoilers, but I ain't gonna talk about it. But I mean if you know, you know, and if you don't, you're gonna find out like not soon, but you know, in a long time, whenever season three comes out, but Ugh, this was such a damn good episode. I mean, it was close to, like, the, just the part where they're talking, and they're just, like, not really arguing, but just going back and forth, and just the flashback that freaking Aya had. I almost cried. Like, that literally made me tear up. Almost. We're already three weeks into this show, and I'm, like, waiting for the moment of when this show is gonna make me cry, and I really think it's when Rin is going to pop up and her situation is going to come up. It has to be, unless it's something with Hana or Uo, because, I mean, those are my other two best girls, and I miss those two as well, even though we get to see them. We didn't really get to see them this week. Or even um, Kagura or something with Momiji. I just, I want to cry, and it's just, it feels so weird to be three weeks into this second season, and I haven't cried yet, but it's coming. I know it is. It's just, I just don't know when, but... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 3 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 4. Bye, guys.